is working super good. Opa na! Great. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. Today I am doing a part two with those gold frames behind me. In my previous video, I unboxed them, I reviewed them for you, I squished you closer to show you what's going on, and I gave you my first thoughts about the frames. And today, I'm gonna show you how I created this beautiful setup behind me. I will link and list everything in the description under this video. Go ahead and check it out. And without any further ado, let's go. All right, so let's start inflating our balloons. I am working with Aloha from Toptix, Evergreen, and Sangria from Toptix as well. I have 17, 11, and 5 inch balloons. I haven't done my usual balloon garland style for quite a while, and I feel like I want to go back to my style of balloon garlands and make different sizes of clusters and then create a balloon garland out of clusters instead of a mini balloon garland. So, so I am inflating my 11 inch balloons into different sizes. Something like this. This one's a little bit smaller. This one's a little bit bigger. Now I am pressing them against the table to give them more rounder shape and tying them into a pair. Now into my pairs or into my clusters of balloons, I like to add 17 inch balloons and I usually add two or one. It depends on what kind of a cluster I want to create and how big of a cluster I want to have. So right now I am inflating two 17 inch balloons. Fine. <laughs> your two pairs into a quad like this now let's inflate one more pair from 11 inch and let's add our last pair into our quad again intertwine everything together very well so nothing will go places unwind and just pop off from your cluster all right, and now we have a beautiful looking cluster of balloons. Now setting this aside and doing exactly the same with the rest of my balloons. I'm not going to make lots of just these clusters from three pairs of balloons. I might add one more pair into this to make a bigger cluster. I might uh, create just quads. Quads are four balloons together or uh, two pairs combined together. So just playing around with sizes of clusters or quads that I want to use in this video. So let's inflate the rest of the balloons. Area color. Just because I have 11 and 5 inch balloons, I really want to be specific where I will place Sangria color. I will make my evergreen and Aloha as a main color, as a main structure, and then Sangria will be kind of like a cool addition into those two colors. So I haven't decided what I wanna do. Either I wanna make like quads out of Sangria or mini balloon garlands and add uh, this color into that balloon garland. That way, I don't know. I will decide and I will let you know as we go with this construction. Also, using my high pressure electric balloon pump from Festi, go ahead and check it out because they have more just than electric inflators. You can always use my code Anastasia10 for 10% off. They have Gemar balloons, they are Gemar distributors. They have a whole bunch of other supplies that you would need for your setups, like balloon shines, uh, glue dashes, you name it. I can't think right now from the top of my head, but they have different uh, inflators as well and other cool stuff. So don't forget FestiUSA.com. I will link them in the description under this video and my discount code Anastasia10 for 10% off. Balloons are inflated and ready to be transformed into a beautiful setup. I actually left these balloons overnight and I don't see no deflation. I didn't hear any of the balloons pop on me. They look wonderful. I am grabbing uh, one cluster from my evergreen and the other cluster from my evergreen. Looking into my clusters and finding those nice and stretchy necks 
and I will be tying them together. So the trick here is that you need to rest one of your clusters on yourself and the other one you need to push into this first cluster of balloons. So once you have your balloons pushed in into other cluster, then stretch the necks of balloons that you found and tie them. That way you're not stressing out your fingers, you're not stressing out your fingers and you're not pulling on your skin and your fingers won't get as tired as if you would stretch the necks first and then tie them without pulling balloons together first. I hope that makes sense. And here we have a start of our beautiful balloon garland. Now you can absolutely twist them and see which way balloons will lay much more nicer and much more in an organic way. I like this. This looks great. I'm going to be repeating this until I will be happy with the length of this balloon garland. So let's attach a few more. Very happy with the length of this balloon garland. It's exactly what I wanted, at least for now. Now, I really want to take these balloons and place them somewhat behind and curve it forward into something like this. Why I want to go behind? Because I really want to utilize these matte uh, windows, as I call them. If you watch my unboxing video, you know that I called these open sections in the frame windows. I want to showcase them and I want to highlight them. I want to put some color behind this matte uh, lining. I am pushing my balloons on this metal pipe right here. I am grabbing two balloons literally where this metal frame is sitting right now and I am crisscrossing the balloons over the metal frame. Now, once I crisscross the balloons, balloons won't go anywhere and they will stay on the frame. It's time to incorporate aloha color and add some evergreen clusters of balloons and fluff this balloon garland up just a tiny bit. When I'm working with several colors and I am ready to add another color, I like to work with zigzag motion over here. I like to keep one over here, next one's gonna be over there, third and fourth one at the very top. Why? Because zigzag will help your eyes wander all around and all the way through the balloon garland and look at the whole thing instead of just focusing here and your eyes will get stuck in here. Yes, yeah, so you will look at the whole setup, but your eyes immediately will go to that really defined spot on your balloon garland. So we don't want that. As balloon artists, we want to capture somebody's attention on the whole setup instead of one spot. So this is why I am doing zigzag because my eyes will go from here, 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 and over there. So trying to stay in this direction right here, let's go attach our extra clusters. For this side, I am taking Aloha color and I am building a big balloon garland and pushing all of my balloons on this side of the frame. So let's do this. To add some orbs balloons so I am using my foil inflator foil inflator is made for specifically foil balloons not orbs I will start inflating my orbs balloons with this inflator and then finish off with a hand pump because this inflator is not strong enough to inflate orbs balloons to stretch them out and get rid of those wrinkles I like this inflator for foil balloons because this inflator feels and stops when 
foil balloon is inflated fully and it's not gonna pop your balloon. So that's great. This is basically it to the foil inflator. This is where it stops and does not inflate the orbs balloon further. So I am finishing this off with a hand pump. This is it to this balloon. Remember that you need to inflate your orbs balloons until there is no fat wrinkles on the seams of this balloon. You can leave micro wrinkles, which I did. You can barely see them, but this balloon looks absolutely round and how it should be looking for an orbs balloon. When you find your last three orbs in this size, I believe these are 18 inch orbs and you're really counting on them, but one decided to have a hole and it starts to deflate. Well, this is me today. This is exactly what's happening. I was really counting on three, but I guess I'm using only two. I decided to stop for a second and actually show you how I attach my foil balloons with 260s. 260s are long balloons, like those animal balloons, and orbs do have these long necks. So I am grabbing my 260 balloon, putting on that neck, wrapping that neck around a 260 and I am starting to roll that neck down with that 260 to the very end just like that now grabbing my 260 tying and securing that neck in my 260 balloon double knot it and now taking these two tails and tying them together And now we created a loop. Now this loop will be looped over my balloons and it will hold my orbs balloon in place. For a five inch balloons, I am using my rubber bands. I will link them in the description under the video. I am simply putting my rubber band on my quad of five inch balloons and we have a loop and it's ready to be attached to our balloon garlands. I filled in spaces with gold orbs and five inch balloons and looks great, looks good, but I'm not completely happy with what I see. I feel like this setup is missing something. So I want to try to quickly build a floral arrangement that's why I brought in this adjustable frame because I will be building my floral arrangement here and I will be hanging that arrangement from the ceiling something new for me but I will post a separate tutorial on floral arrangements a little bit later also this frame one of the best investments that I did recently because this is a, such a convenient frame this horizontal pipe is adjustable so are these vertical pipes you can adjust this frame to any height or any width that you want i will link this frame in the description under this video so let's go quickly whip out a beautiful beautiful flower arrangement how my centerpiece turned out very interesting very fall like now i need to put it on the ceiling i have this whole structure hanging on a 50 pound fishing line on two sides so now i am using command hooks with adjustable uh, hooks and i am going to mount this beautiful piece on my ceiling i wanted to use some of the colorful florals in this setup but i decided not to because i feel like all of the colorful flowers that i have they don't match colors in my balloons so i decided to leave as pompous and i'm gonna add pompous all over the balloons as well
And this is it, you guys. This is my final setup. I absolutely love the pompous in here. This pompous transformed this setup, this color palette, to another level. I am impressed with myself with this pompous piece on the ceiling. It's super pretty, super beautiful. I love it. I will post a tutorial separately on how I did that. Also, if this color palette does not scream fall, I don't know what does. This Aloha fits in here like a glove. It's like something still summery, something still very warm, but transition into cooler and darker and more fall-ish colors. Very cute. Also, for this piece, for Pompous, use a little bit heavier hooks because this hook was giving me so many problems. It fell so many times. I stopped counting how many times I've reattached this hook right here. This one held up so nicely. Maybe I bought like a bad batch of refills for the hooks. Maybe they're not as sticky as they should be. I have no idea, but this thing fell so many times and this whole weight was on just this hook and it was holding just fine i don't know maybe it's just the sticky thinnies that i bought as a refill i will leave a link for i love you sign for the frames some of them are not available right now but they will be in stock soon this chair and this rug i got from amazon everything will be linked and listed also these frames and these windows right here when i was working with balloons and if you watched my previous video you remember that i told you i don't know how these windows will perform when i'm going to be working with balloons let me tell you it was a nightmare nightmare because those uh, little magnets they were moving and they were not staying in place if you look closely right here this window this insert is barely holding it's holding for its dear life on this frame they are puckering they are moving they are not comfortable to work with all this pompous i bought these fluffy things i will leave a link in the description under the video i originally bought them from walmart but i saw some on amazon as well pompous that i collected on the side of the road and just like everywhere that i could find them i would cut them and these darker pompouses my dad actually brought them for me uh, from a site where he was working there was a whole bunch of them growing so he cut them for me and now i have them and i'm happy this is it you guys this is what i have for you today i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful and inspiring if it was don't forget to give this video a thumbs up they always help more than you think if you have any additional questions leave them in the comment section below i will try my best to help you out to the best of my abilities and i hope all of you will have a wonderful day and i will see you back very soon bye